Howdy, folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Cub, and welcome back to our Sky Factory 2.5 Let's Play Adventure. What's up, Gardener? You having a good time just moseying about? Well, that's good. We're still having a bit of lag issues here, although I won't lie, it's not as bad as it was in the past. But today, we're hopefully going to be fixing it by clearing some things up here, hopefully making some processes a little bit straight, more straightforward. This is full. Probably need to shut you down. You need to stop being so fortunate, I guess. Also, let's just go ahead and disable this for now. We'll just set this to uh, disabled, and that'll effectively put an end to this. Uh, hopefully. I mean, it's still going. Uh, maybe we should take some things out of here. There we go. We'll take some quartz. I know Bob used some of his quartz in between episodes because he actually did a bit of construction with it, but I don't know. I guess he didn't use enough of it because we've got so much of it now. What we're going to end up doing today... We'll hopefully make room for it all. There we go. We'll store some of that in there for now. Excellent. Now, today we're going to condense all of this down to where we're only using two igneous extruders. One for cobblestone and one for obsidian. Because the one we built last time for obsidian caused a bit of lag and sucked up all of our lava. The one we're going to build today will also use quite a bit of lava. But, uh, you know what? We might not even do it. I was going to use another igneous extruder to create obsidian. But we've got so much obsidian as it is. We might just move this guy around. Speaking of moving things around, we're going to need to do that a bit today as well. So we might need to just go ahead and make a dolly. Like, that's not how I was going to start things. But a diamond dolly, we might just need to go ahead and do that. So iron and a block of wood, I guess, of any type will probably work. And then a diamond. Well, what goes into the diamond one? What's the big three diamonds? <laughs> ah, oh, man. It's almost like they're trying to hurt us, but, you know, it, it's not going to work. We've got just so many diamonds. Not even hurting for them. All right. There we go. Diamond dolly. First things first. And this was a peculiar one. I didn't understand this decision. But rather than emptying this chest over here from the old monster spawner, Ralph and Bob just left it here. So let's go ahead and get that, and we'll take that back with us. You're going to want to fly with this thing because it makes you super heavy. See how slow you are with it? Not pleasant at all. We'll plop it down up here. Okay, well, that's fine. We can just move it again. Plop it down up there. There's some good stuff in there. We'll, we'll have to go through it later, I guess. There's also some good stuff in here, but also we'll just have to go through it later. Next, let's go ahead and move this guy out. We don't need it up here anymore. We'll put it downstairs with all of our other barrels. And I realize a lot of people want me to go ahead and just build an ME machine. And we're going to get to that, like an ME sorting machine. It's going to be good. We'll do that, I promise. But today, our big concern is building some augments. So let's type in some augment. And the ones we're looking for are right down here, the augment accelerated extrusion. Now these are for the igneous extruder. We want to get all the way to augment number three, which is going to allow us to create up to 64 cobblestone per operation, which is insane. But we've got to start at one. So augment the number one. This one's pretty straightforward. Before we get there though, let's see which one of these is it. Might not be any of these. I thought for sure that one of these required something peculiar what was i thinking of clearly i was wrong i am confused no i'm not i know what i was thinking now this one has to be put in a machine you can see it right down there underneath 87.5 water consumed uh, requires a resonant machine we have to upgrade our igneous extruder to be resonant, which is going to require that we where is that hat do i need to go the other direction i guess what's what's going oh that's uh, that's the one. We're going to need some silver ingots, an igneous extruder, and enderium gear. Enderium is the one I was looking at. This is going to be the complicated one. First things first, we're going to have to create some enderium base, which is going to require shiny metal, silver, and tin. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. We can do that here in the alloy smelter. So we've got our silver, our shiny metal, and we have got our tin right here. Now it takes two of the ten for every one of these, but that's okay. We don't need a whole lot of it. I've already got one igneous extruder for this process. Just picked it up off of right here, and this is probably going to be the one we upgrade and end up using. So, four enderium, and then we're going to have to take that and combine it with ender pearls and pyrothium dust. Now, pyrothium, I don't know if I've got any around here. We can make it. It's not like a difficult thing to build. We've built it before. Uh, let's see, from memory... We're going to need treadstone, yes, blazing pyrothium. We're going to need some sulfur, and that one's always a bit of a kick to get a hold of. Yeah, I don't see any in here. Might have to do a search for it. We know how to get sulfurous clouds, though. 
Those are all up in the nether. Yeah, we don't seem to have any sulfur. Dadgummit. We also need coal powder, and we can use sulfur clouds to get sulfur. So I'm going to go to the nether and do that. In the meantime, do we have any dust from... Oh, yeah, we do. We're good. All right. Then to the nether with a pick that's about to break as well as the flintmatic that's about to... It'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? I think we can just harvest sulfurous clouds with our bare hands anyway, so it's okay. Yeah, look, and, and it's all around us. We're not hurting for the material. Here we go. How do we, how do we, how do you solve a problem like Maria? Yeah, we'll just capture it by hand. Or, we'll vein mine it. Oh, shoot, I forgot, it all falls now. That's right, the, the vein mine tool's been swapped out, swapped out with something else that doesn't work quite as well. That's a shame. A lot of this one is overneath, hey, here, this might work, this might work this time, because this is mostly floating over the construction stuff we've got here. Yeah, look at that, that's how you do it, boys. And girls. There's girls watching this, too. Mostly boys, though. So that's how you do it, boys. Girls probably already knew that. Let's be honest. All right, so that's going to give us the 616 sulfur. That's that's all we're going to get. All right, that's fine. Whatever. Pyrothium dust. It's actually not blazing pyrothium. I realize a lot of times I call pyrothium dust blazing pyrothium, even though it's not. Blazing pyrothium is like the fluid form of pyrothium dust. Listen. Don't get an attitude with me, okay? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's not like a big issue. There's a lot of these guys here now. What's going on? Did you all come through this portal? Get out of here, you. You can't spawn here. I know Ralph. He would have made sure of it. I hope, at least. For my sake, I hope he did. All right, so we've got our 12 Endurium base. A bit much, honestly. But uh, we need to use that with Ender Pearls and Blazing Pyrothium. So let's go ahead and hop down here. Remember how we talked about having interpearls outside? I don't think we have any on the inside, do we? Uh, we've got to have at least a couple. There's none here. There's none here either. Maybe they're up here? Oh, we got two. That's good. That'll do. So two of these, some of these, a bit of this, and how many bars will that give us? None. It's all, it's all vanished. It's all disappeared. Nothing's happening. What the heck? Oh, there it goes. This is going to be a slow one, isn't it? Hold on. So is it the basic capacitors you can use to speed things up? No. No, it's not. However, I think we can use them to create double layer capacitors, which will increase energy storage and speed range of a machine. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It doesn't look too difficult. It could be worthwhile. So besides, this is all about efficiency, right? So we need a couple of those. And then I think it also said maybe some bronze or possibly not bronze. Energetic alloy. I think we got some. We got. We probably got some of that. Energetic alloy. Yeah, we got some of that. No problem. Bit of that to the top and bottom. And then the last ingredient was some coal powder. I've got pulverized coal. Hey, it's good enough. It'll take it. Excellent. So I don't remember what we got these for. I think they came out of a, 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 a one of those. Oh, okay. Yep. That's gone up. Speed has definitely increased, although not a whole lot. I think this came out of a, a chance cube from somebody's tip the other day during a live stream. So thank you for that. It's very much appreciated. And that's going to give us, I think, two of these bars. Two Endurium ingots. I think we need more than that, though. Nobody panic. I've got this covered. We got plenty. Oh, look, we're probably about to have another one in here. We got the one at least. And then we'll get the two out of here. And, and while we're here, we might as well just get the five of these. Now might be the best time of all to mention. I'm not sure if you have to upgrade this machine, upgrade by upgrade. Like, I don't... If we take a look at uses, looks like it's just a regular basic igneous extruder can be surrounded with silver and endarium gear to get the resonant version. So this is probably going to be all right. I hope. Okay, we've got our two additional ingots there, endarium ingots. We're going to... Put some iron in the middle, make a that thing. Silver around the corners like a that. Do with this. That's wrong. And that's okay. Sometimes we do it wrong. Except this time where it's definitely silver. An igneous extruder basic. And some enderium gear. Like we've done it. We've done exactly what the recipe says. Okay, let's do an experiment here. We know we've got invar bars, right? 
in here somewhere. There they are. And we've got some Electrum ingots. Let's do this. Let's just very quickly, we'll create an Electrum gear using Electrum ingots and some iron ingots. There we go. And then we'll put Invar in the corners. And then we will place the machine in the middle. Ah. All right, so that gets us up to hardened. Oh, okay. So next up, we got to get some uh, whatever this stuff is. So I can't do it one tier. I have to do it one tier to the next. I can't just go from the base model to the upper model. Even though the recipe clearly shows that that works. Because if we look at the recipe again. Oh, wait, what? Well, Shrek, I don't know then. So we need a bucket of destabilized redstone. Pulverized copper and then a pulverized silver. This is just ridiculous. Ridiculous, but whatever at this point, right? Do I have any copper? I don't even have any copper. Where's the copper at? All right, there it is. No one, no one panic. Oh, wait a minute. I found a different recipe. Stop. Come back. Stop it with the copper. Oh, it's too late, aren't it? Oh, no. Oh, oh whatever. Cook it back up. Yeah, okay. So just regular copper, silver, 10 redstone. Jeez, we got some redstone on us. We've got, we've got silver, we've got copper. Alright, so inside of this here machine, I'd like you to please take my copper. Please take my silver and take some redstone and do your do your thing, machine. Just, just do, 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 do it. Make me some stuff, please, and, and do it. Just, just do it. Don't let your dreams uh, stay in your head dreaming. Wake up and... You said yesterday that tomorrow you'd, you'd do it, so... I don't know. Get it done. That'll give me the... Well, no, this this will give me the gear. Okay. And then what else was required? Hardened glass or fused glass. Which have I got? I should have some. I've got none? Have I used it all? What have I used it all for? Glass. Glass. Oh, it's in, like, lots of different chests. I've got glass. Not the one I'm looking for, though. You know what's weird is with how far we've come, mm -hmm. fused quartz glass is just, it's like nothing anymore. Look, we'll just head over here, and we'll just get some quartz. No big deal. Okay, there we go. A couple pieces too many, but really, can you ever have too much fused quartz glass? Uh, the answer to that is... Surprising. Number the, the fourth answer to that would actually surprise you. All right, there we go. And then we surround that with our special Enderium ingots that have gone missing. There's the base. No, that's the Enderium's there. Okay, we surround this thing with silver. Golly, my brain is broken from this whole process, but there we go. Finally, do you know what we've accomplished with that? We finally got the machine we wanted, and I'll tell you where we're going to put it, too. We're going to get rid of all this nonsensical networking we've got going on here with all these cables. We're just going to plop this guy down right next to this because, you know, it's all unnecessary now. All right, so over here we've got room for all these different augments. We'll go ahead and put in the augments we already had. Cool. So, uh, redstone options, yeah, ignored. Integrated servo mechanism, integrated module framework. All of that we want. We want to make sure it's still outputting to, to that side. Yep, all right, good. Next up, we get to actually build the augments we've been talking about all this time. And we do have to build them all in a row. If you take a look here, it requires uh, previous levels to be installed. Highest level augment is used. So we actually have to build all three of these augments. And that's okay, because they're not too bad. Like, we showed the recipe earlier, and I got really confused about what we needed the resonant ender stuff for. But now I know, because I'll be darned, not a total idiot. So do all of these require pneumatic servos? They do. We'll go ahead and build. Where's our regular glass? I had glass in my inventory at some point. I'm not crazy. There it is. One, two, three, four of those is too many, but you can never have too many because you're always going to need another one later. Tier one, tier two. There we go. Clear all this out. And then finally, tier three. Perfect. We've got all three of them. See, once things get going, once you clear up the basics, Everything starts to come together. So we'll install, first off, number one here, number two here. They don't stack, unfortunately. 
and then number three. So does it actually have to have all of these installed? It does, yeah, so it does build off of them. So you take one out and it reverts to the lowest. Interesting, but there you go. So for each cycle here, it's going to create 64 cobblestone. We're going to need to get a bucket and fill this thing with lava and water. Unfortunately, it won't consume the water or the lava because it's just making cobblestone. Look at this. We've already got buckets set to go. Not even intentional. I just have a bunch of buckets full of nonsense sitting around. Yeah, there we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. So we're talking full stacks over here now. Look at that. Crazy. Well, good. That's taken care of. So that's going to reduce lag. We can get rid of all these now. Of course, all this junk just sitting around on the floor is also going to produce lag. So I should do something with it. And I think that this thing is full. So we need to expand its storage capacity. Definitely. Right. But first things first, let's, let's clear some stuff out. Because this has gotten a hair bit out of control. All right. So first things first, we need to build some of these upgrades. Eh, four for now because I've got eh, six Just do it all probably need to go up to number two as well we're gonna need some more fencing all right here you go chest oh you already have structural upgrades what all do you have on you I don't even know what's going on with you you got some more upgrade your structural level three all right so I guess you got 320 stacks max I guess that's what we need to look at increasing it's got to have a storage upgrade 3, right? I guess we just need to make a whole lot of storage upgrades. This is becoming quite the adventure today, folks. I did not anticipate any of this happening. That'll give us some storage upgrades, though. Only 5, actually. Ugh. I think it's already got this upgrade on it. Why am I even going to apply this upgrade? I don't need this upgrade on this. It's fine. Look. So we've only got 320 stacks... At least that's what it looks like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, we can just look at it and, like, hold down the shift. And, yeah, 320 stacks. That's plenty. I mean, we're clearly not using it all. We've scaled all this operation back. I mean, we've cut this one off. We've got way too much quartz. A thing I never thought I'd say. We're now down to just uh, ender pearls being the one rarity we've got in existence. Everything is running a lot smoother here. I don't know if you can tell. I guess the last thing to do today is to look at um, the tuning fork and the... The B space upgrade, which is going to require some ender chests, so it's a good thing we've got some. And a couple of pistons. First things first, let's get some barrels, because we're going to be doing some replacements here. Not everything is going to fly out of these as soon as you break them, because it's also stored in the uh, counterpart chests downstairs. So we're not going to make an incredible mess when we do this. Ooh, but you know what is going to happen? Is it going to hook up to that? No, it's not. Good. I was worried it might hook up and then just start depositing random junk in there. And that's the last thing we want. So, this is the sand chest. Which was this? Oh, right, you're the receiving chest. Never mind, my mistake. I know exactly what you're for. Next chest, you should be receiving sand and sand only, and that is working. Now we have to connect that to a chest outside. That's why we need a couple more of these first off. I, I say chests. And what I mean when I say chest is, of course, barrels, because that's what we're working with. Many of you are clever enough to figure that out. Many of you will be confused, and several more will be enraged. You should know right off the bat, whatever, I don't care. So we got inner chest, we got pistons, we've got our B space upgrade. Fantastic. We'll, we'll do it again. It was so great, we'll do it again. Great, we got the two of those. We also need our tuning fork here, so we're going to need another ender pearl. And I believe that that was just iron, correct? Yes, of course. Whenever you make a tuning fork, you want to use iron. It's really the best material for it, honestly. Not really, though. I'm lying. That's what's going on here. I think you're the sand chest as well. You are the sand chest. So this is where things get dicey. And by dicey, I mean messy. And by messy, I mean... Oh, gosh. Where did all the sand go? I guess... Where is all the sand? I broke both chests does all the sand that's stored in the inner chest just doesn't matter i don't care chest here we're going to install the lovely uh should we go ahead and put a structural I, I i don't think we need the structural upgrade but we'll go ahead and install one anyway we'll just be ready for it and in fact we'll upgrade it to two because we might want to make these store even more how much storage space is required so this uses two slots so now we got three upgrade slots so if anything 
yeah, I think this is necessary. All right, so that's hooked up. We're going to whack it with this fork. Where? No, give me that back. Give me that thing. Where did it go? Good grief. I think we have to have them both ready because I think that this is... You have to actually run to the other one and activate it before you run out of time. If I remember this correctly, which I may not, but again, structural upgrade time. This one has to be exactly identical to the one downstairs. And we're going to clang. The fork starts to resonate. We're running out of time. We got to sprint all the way back over here. And what's inside of you? Nothing. Okay. Clang. Boom. It's connected. It's now got the sand. Great. Now we need to do the exact same thing, except this time with the soul sand. So we're going to break this, and I guess the soul sand's not going to go explode out everywhere. Where is it then? Where's the soul sand? Because we destroyed both chests, did we not? The soul sand chest isn't up here anymore. What's going on? What, what's, what's even happening? Hey, I, I don't understand. I'm confused. All right, so the same thing we did last time. Use the, uh, the old ender chests. Surround them with pistons. Boom. Excellent. We'll take this one outside. This one is again going to be used for the soul sand this time. Although, do we really need this machine running still? Yeah, okay, that's going to get soul sand. Good. We'll, we'll upgrade it both times. And then we'll make a daring sprint upstairs. Here we go. Offend the wild blue yonder. You need to be... You don't even have that installed. Boom. I, did, I thought I did this already, didn't I? I guess I didn't tuning fork the last one. Now we'll do it, though. See, it's not as rewarding. Barrel of content is preventing it from resonating. So something upstairs is clearly... There's nothing in this one. Ah, we have to start with the one that's got stuff in it. That's right. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. I know this is complicated. I'm not helping anyone. Okay. Clang. Barrel of content is keeping it from resonating. What, does it have to be empty when I do this? The fork starts resonating. There we go. All right, that's all I'm asking for. I just want the fork to start resonating. We go upstairs to this empty barrel. Blang. There you go. And I guess all of the soul sand that was in it before has just disappeared into the aether. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. There we go. So we've done some efficiency upgrades. We're no longer using chests. Instead, we're using barrels. They're we're going to hold more. And they should be a bit more efficient. Also, we're down to one igneous extruder instead of like ten, or however many we were using before. And also, it's conveniently located right next to the barrel where it's doing all of its depositing. This whole setup, I haven't even checked these chests lately. We've got so many resources downstairs, I don't even think about checking the resources upstairs. So, I don't know what half of these machines are even doing anymore. I'm assuming they're all still working away, but... I don't actually, I don't actually pay attention to it. Can I, I need to reset this one up though. Oh well. Ah, uh, I'll worry about it later. No, I won't. Dang it. It's going to bother me all night if I don't worry about it right now. Yeah. Storage is an issue. We're going to look at storage next time. Where does the quartz go? Right here. Bye folks. Thank you all for watching. God bless you. Say goodbye, Gardener.